Hi, I'm Dr. Phil A. Hello again. Uh, I'm going to talk about hormones and the effect on mental and physical health. I've been at the clinics here for oh, at least five years now and I've come to the conclusion that I think probably half the psychiatrists in the country could throw away their medications and the patients as well uh, if their horm patients' hormones were balanced. This is particularly true of women but men as well. So, you know, if you can't sleep at night, maybe you don't need Ambien, maybe you need progesterone. That's a GABAergic, it's a hormone that works in your brain like a medication, like it's literally nature's Valium. Same receptors. Progesterone binds, calms your brain down. Progesterone can have a dramatic effect on PMS. So many women have whatever go on before your cycle is PMS. It doesn't have to be irritable. It could be your depression's worse, your anxiety's worse. Uh, you can't sleep as well. You're more irritable. A lot of that's because of estrogen dominance. And there's many reasons for that, but normally the first half of your cycle is high estrogen, low progesterone, and it's supposed to switch. But a lot of women, it doesn't for multiple reasons. And just taking progesterone, you can eliminate PMS in many cases. Even when you're having your cycles, you, take, you can take natural progesterone at bedtime. You can even things out. That's just one example. But men can use progesterone too. It can help with sleep. Again, that's just one of the many hormones. Testosterone is the mojo hormone. That's what gives men and women their libido. It's probably the best natural antidepressant there is, is optimizing your testosterone. It helps with mood, motivation, energy, libido, thinking. And again, that drops with age. So men go through menopause, it's called andropause, usually in your 40s. So again, do they need Prozac or do they need testosterone? Right, so these are just things that are not looked at virtually by any psychiatrist. Some, some few will. They might check your thyroid, which is yet another very important hormone, but most don't, right? So they're thinking which drug is best going to fit you, not which hormone do you need, and no one checks them. So here at the Amen Clinic, we do. It's part of our standard operating procedure to look at all your numbers. As Daniel always says, know your numbers. So hormones are important numbers to know. Um, Estrogen is what most people think of when they think of hormone therapy. It turns out that's kind of the lowest on the rung of importance and actually what you really feel. So thyroid, critical. Thyroid is misdiagnosed, mistreated. What does low thyroid mean? Low energy, depression, weight gain. Those are just some dry skin, right? These are your body slowing down. So again, do you need an antidepressant or do you need thyroid? You don't know if you don't look. So very important to check hormones and optimize them. One problem you're gonna run into is most doctors are afraid of hormones. Uh, it's like this kind of black box over here that we don't wanna go there. There's something about cancer and hormones and we don't wanna to touch that. There's no studies, no studies showing natural hormone therapy contributing to or causing any kind of cancer just doesn't exist. If you find one, send it to me. Uh, so natural hormones are safe and very effective. So it's a big miss. There's so many patients that I've seen turn around dramatically. I'll give you an instance. Just saw a patient that had came here for depression, chronic pain. He was an old MMA fighter. Lots of pain meds, lots of depression. Can't think well, lots of medications especially for pain, but also for brain. No testosterone. It was down to female level of testosterone. How do you think he's going to feel? Lousy. Guess what? Replace testosterone. He's a new guy. Less pain meds. Less antidepressants. New life. Right? No one's going to catch that if they don't look. And in fact, almost everyone on opiates is going to have low testosterone. It blocks your testosterone. So people that are on chronic back pain, you're on your Vicodin every day, your Norco every day, you're gonna have low testosterone. What does that do? It makes you feel more pain, more depressed, less energy, less motivation. So again, this it's very 
broad the effects of hormones on your physical and emotional well-being. So that's just a little dip in the water on hormones, but I'll tell you, it's, it's very important. It shouldn't be overlooked.